This is Twit. Norman Lear, amazing talent who changed American culture, has died at 101, and I make a rule about this. He was the only person who could get away with wearing an ironic hat. All of you, and you know who you are out there, throw away your ironic hats now. Retire them with Norman Lear. Was Norman Lear's hat ironic or serious? I think he wore that hat, like, seriously. No, he wore it ironically. He wore it kind of like, oh, this is in fun? I that it was that man thing. is wearing a serious hat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That hat is dead serious. Uh, it was his trademark. Absolutely. It was his, his trademark. trademark, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I'll be honest. Uh, at the time, I wasn't a fan. I don't know. You were a TV critic when I was all in the Ooh. family and Maud. And uh, the well, did he do the Golden All Girls? the family, you got it. Um, I give yeah, credit to All in the Family, I guess. It felt yeah. very middle brow to me. So I wasn't, you know, he was lionized. Like, this man can do no wrong. Every show he creates is genius. And I thought it was yeah, kind no, of middle I mean, brow. Sanford but, and Sons, Jefferson's Maud, except at Good Times. But what he, what did he do to bring black characters on primetime TV? A lot. Was, I wish was, you were here to talk about critical. that because you're absolutely right. Uh, those shows finally put black people on TV as equals. Uh, in fact, all in the families, uh, very you know strong uh, and, and at the time controversial topics of racism, sexism uh, had not really been heard, and, and uh, they were no. very pro-gay, no. and it was very shocking to America. I guess. I mean. It, it didn't seem so shocking to me. Well, and where, and where is that? I mean, consider also what sitcoms did for marriage equality. Where is that voice today from American culture? Yeah. To 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 deal. Where is the defense of trans people now? In isn't that shameful? Culture? That's exactly right. It's I mean, incredibly shameful. Yeah. Yes. I mean, especially in a popular culture that is not only shirking from a defense of like trans fellow citizens, that is like actively picking up the pitchfork and vilifying yep. them in it's many so cases. Shameful. It is incredibly shameful. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't even get it. I mean, let's uh, let's pick on. Uh, uh, people who can't defend themselves. Let's let's pick on I mean, pick on a incredibly historically marginalized group already, of people right? that are already ostracized that have lived their entire lives up until the point they transitioned in a body that made them feel uncomfortable. Let's well, make so them feel more uncomfortable it's, for making a choice that makes them feel all right in their skin. It's the ultimate in punching down. Uh, it's just yeah. it's which so is shameful. the point. Is it the they point? Need, they, 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 need, they need a new target. They can't use um, black people anymore. They can't, they can't use, use gay people anymore. anymore. So now they can use trans people. And, and drag and, 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 and people and drag. Them. And drag queens. Yeah. Like yeah. the most harmless group in the world. <laughs> I mean, you meet a drag queen in an alley, you're not like, oh no, what'll I do? You just go, hey, nice. You're gown. like, where is the show? <laughs> Where's the party? <laughs> exactly. Am I supposed to? Is there a comedy exactly. show going on here? Could be fun. I, t- I just, uh, you know, we have. Uh, I honestly, I didn't even know it that we had drag reading at the at the local library here in Petaluma, and I would never know it except they had protests all of a sudden. Oh, jeez. It's been going on for years. <laughs> Nobody had a problem with it. Uh. Yeah. Anyway, uh, great piece, uh, obituary in the uh, New York Times by Rob Reiner, who was, of course, meathead in uh, All in the Family, Archie Bunker. The, you know, I do feel bad for Carol O'Connor, who was a re- esteemed British actor who was never again to be anything but Archie Bunker to <laughs> anywhere and anybody in the world. Um, I guess that's it's both a curse and a blessing if you're an actor to create a character that people only see you as. Um. Anyway, highly recommend the uh, the obituary, and thank you, Jeff, for bringing that up. I hadn't put that on the. Uh, well, it was because of, of Paris's fashion moment. Yeah. That led led us. Well, no, actually, I, forget, I guess I'm I'm to blame for it for the Nehru jacket, which came off of Riz. So we went from Riz <laughs> to Nehru jacket Riz. to Ascot to ironic and to uh, hats. Uh, close the book on that to answer someone's question in Discord to Riz someone up means to uh you know. You've got to exert your charisma towards them. Nice. You've got to share it, right? Is it like, you gotta, yeah. you gotta, 
what is it, the fashion guy for the queer eye or whatever that's called? Is that rizzing somebody up? <laughs> I mean, I think rizzing someone up could be, as demonstrated by the Baby Gronk video, yeah. a hug. Yeah. It could be, you know, you're I hyping think... someone up. It can be up to interpretation. No, see, she's being humble right now. I think what's happening is we have a, we have an example of it every time in that Paris's mere presence here Rizzes up among us grandpas us. Yeah. is rizzing us up. She has rizzed us incredibly. <laughs> Thank yes. you, Paris. Yes. Norman you guys are Lear welcome. flew 50, 57 <laughs> bombing missions over Nazi Germany in uh, the Second World War. Wow, I forgot that. Uh, he was a war hero. <laughs> Um, what a conversation we're having, guys. <laughs> <laughs> just the, the the vacillations really and, get And me. just to go full circle, he never wore a Nehru jacket. But he did. He, <laughs> that he, we know of. That we know. He did wear the hat. Somebody's telling me in the chat. Well, it's, it's called a pork pie hat, right? It's not. It's no, it's a clown hat. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's a kind of a bozo the clown hat, I think. I don't know. He apparently started wearing it because he used to pick at his head while he was writing, and he wanted to stop himself uh, from doing that. That's what somebody in the chat room uh, said. Listeners of this program get an ad-free version if they're members of Club Twit. $7 a month gives you ad-free versions of all of our shows, plus membership in the Club Twit Discord, a great clubhouse for Twit listeners. And finally, the Twit Plus feed with shows like Stacy's Book Club, The Untitled Linux Show, and more. Go to twit.tv slash club twit. And thanks for your support.